in the Bible, there's not a dearth of men. They're not a lack of men of God. Why in the church in America is there a lack of men of God? Right? We something we're not doing right. Like, I don't look in the Bible and be, and it's all women. And God bless the sisters. Because they were there too, obviously, right? Absolutely. They saw Jesus. For sure. They they did their thing too. Absolutely. But in America, it's lopsided. Right? It's two is way more women than men living for God. So why? It wasn't that way in biblical times. And so they, but though again, those men in the Bible, they walked and lived a certain way. And we so to your point, man, you can't overcome, you can't be envying the even the rich dude. Right. You know, right. the, the the power monger or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Ooh, oh, you okay. can't be envying that. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm your professor, I will test you in the worst way Don't bring a scantron, it's pop quizzes all day Cause of our chemistry, we do biology all right, so what's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. More importantly, you saw the clip. I got to have this conversation about church and men being in church and why men aren't in the church. But let me take it a little further back, like what Chris Broussard was talking about, the Bible. When people think about the Bible, they don't think about church. All the men in the Bible wasn't in church. Just be honest with you. They wasn't in church. Um, all the stories you remember about Jesus wasn't really in, wasn't in church. All the, Moses wasn't in church. King David, all the stuff wasn't in church. You know, um, most of the, the disciples, apostles, whatever you want to call them, wasn't in church. Um, Samson wasn't in church. Elijah wasn't in church. King Solomon wasn't in church. You get what I'm saying? Um, Noah wasn't a church story. It was it, where are the men in the church. Well, the men in the Bible wasn't weren't in the church like that. You know that that's the issue. So when you find yourself in a situation where you're looking for the men who should be in the church, doing what exactly is the question? Like, what are they going to be doing in the church? Just coming up, showing up. Hey, praise God! Ah, hallelujah! No. No, I'm going to tell you why I'm saying no, <clears throat> because if you, if you want to, if going to worship is in the Bible, but <clears throat> if you want to be technical about it, like I said before, Jesus wasn't a Christian, so Jesus was a Hebrew, so, you know, they translated now to make it Jewish, but he was a Hebrew, so did they go to church or did they go to synagogue? You see, you, see, you see what I'm saying? They didn't go to quote unquote church. They just translated church for people who were supposed to be quote unquote Christians to be in church. But the reality is they're not in church. So the other thing, <clears throat> to take a step forward with this, um, Instead of, they used to say church is like a hospital for the sick to help people. Well, church in some, in, in some people's eyes has went from being a hospital to a hospice. So <clears throat> why, why, why more men aren't in the church? Because they're tired of seeing people, you know, withering away. Because God should be worshiped and praised. But God shouldn't be the excuse why you don't do, why you don't try to be your best in life. And then you just show up on, you know, on Sunday and go, you know, I'm praising. That's, that's not how they go. Um, we got to talk about it. Church has been disrespectful to men. That's, so I did a video about um, quote unquote reverse racism recently and the guy was saying you know if you want if 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 you do something radically to people you have to do something radical to change it so if you want these men back in the church you're gonna have to have radical respect for men 
and not in the sense of I just want you to come back here so you can you can give me some money for tithes and offerings and we can use you men to for whatever service we want in the church so you can make help the people in the church and help the church look good and at the end of the day you just be a tool you know to be used it's like yeah guys are not signing up for that so that's that's another aspect of it um the other thing that that, that hasn't been t- touched on enough i would say is church doesn't come across as a place that, that that's about good deeds you know you hear more about good deeds outside the church than you do inside the church. And I'm not trying to say, um, I'm not trying to say like newsworthy type of things. Uh, that's not what I mean. I mean like word of mouth. Like people go, you know, they, they, they don't say, yo, the church did X, Y, Z. The church did, or uh, somebody at the, at the church did this. You know, th- that's not what's being said, you know. Um, and don't get it twisted. I know that there are churches out there who are feeding the homeless and feeding poor families and taking care of people. I know that to be true. But at the same time, you hear the good that people do that are outside of church than people, than more so than people inside the church. And you can make the case that people outside the church seem to have a better heart for people than people inside the church. So, you know, that that adds to the issue. To me, let me just be honest about this. <clears throat> I think people are entertained by church, but not, as they would say, edified. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, eh, you know, uh, just like music lost its soul. And, and I was listening to, who was that? Like Pharrell or somebody like that, or Will I Am. It's like, what happened to the music? It's like church. A lot of the musicians came from church. The, the soul came from church. So church lost its soul, and every and, you know, and it, and it kind of, and it trickled down to everything else. So you don't see as many men in the church because there's no soul in the church. You know. So and just because you go and and praise God does not mean, you know, it's one thing to go with a heavy heart to church. It's another thing to go with a cold one. And I think um, for too many people and too many men, church feels like a congregation of cold hearts. You know, but, uh, it, well, let me, let, me, let me rewind this a little bit also before I go. The other thing, Church really doesn't promote right and wrong. A church doesn't have principles. It's like, you know, you're doing good or you're doing bad. You're doing right or you're doing wrong. It's just like, eh, you know, forgiveness. And it's like, eh, nah, nah. In, in a world that's unforgiving to men, you, you go into church and preaching forgiveness. And it's like, eh. but at the same time, being unforgiving to men, it just doesn't work. But that's where I'm going to leave it at that. You tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch you on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm going to take you.